Hello everyone. Welcome in the second part of solar energy series. Friends solar panels efficiency boost is now possible. There are many techniques through which we can increase the efficiency of our current solar power systems installed in our houses. In this video I have used one of the methods to increase the efficiency of a small solar system. The results are very surprising to me. Using single method I gain an 83% increase in my solar system. But if we use all methods at the same time the results will be insane. In my other video I applied two methods and I gain 500% gain. So without any further delay, we start the part 2 video of solar energy series. So here are the solar panels. I have already assembled all the necessary things. But don't worry. I will explain everything. We can see there are a series of pipes on the top side of the solar panels, and in between these pipes, there are 12 distribution channels. We will see this first in a few moments. I will tell you about the components, which I have used to build this auto water cooling mechanism. This is the PU hose pipe, or can be say pressure pipe. You can check its dimension in the picture. Now, these are the PU pipe tees, which are covered inside a white pipe. You can see its full shape in this clear picture. Now in this picture there are two things. The blue pointer is showing 90 degree of nozzles which are used to make artificial rain on the solar panels. And the red pointer is showing the complete one set of the water spray channel. This is another important thing. This is some kind of water overflow saving system. White pointers highlighting the white pipes which collect any leakage or overflow of the spray nozzles. And yellow pointers are indicating the yellow pipes which will responsible to put escaped water back into the 90 liter water bucket. In short, there must be no waste of water at any cost. Now it's time to see under the solar panels and find out more important things. This is the 90 liter water bucket. Placed under the solar panels fully built with stainless steel. I also put some space under the water bucket for the purpose of airflow under the water bucket. Let's see inside the water bucket. So we can see the water pump attached with two pipes. I have designed this system like that. So it can run by itself. But it can also be operated manually as well. So before leaving this topic I want to talk about this water pump. I use this water pump which you can clearly see in the picture. This water pump runs on 12 volts DC and only use 8 watts of power. But with the investment of 8 watts we get 160 watts more. This single water pump can be used for 6 solar panels because it has a very high flow rate. Now this is how I arrange this water pump. There are two channels of water flow. I have to make sure that the maximum water is pumped on the top of the solar panels. So I make this arrangement to pump the maximum water from the pump. In the picture you can see one side of the three-channel PUT is connected with the water pump, and the other two sides are connected with two PU pipes. You are also seeing the pump suction side. There I use PU elbow. This elbow performs many functions. For example, we can add a small filter at this point. Another function is to prevent the water pump to burn. These pumps are submersible and if you run them without being submerged they will burn with heat. So the elbow stops the water flow at suction so the pump will turn off when no water going in it. This pump has a sensor in it. This pump did not run without water going in it.
now have a free look at these complete solar panels array. And tell me in the comments section how it looks. This is another interesting area to see. This is the bottom side of the solar panels. The place where the sliding water will be collected. I have taken the PVC pipe and cut it in half, making it two pieces. I have placed one piece under the solar panels, so it will do the work and collect the water effectively. Friends from here I will speak and explain the rest of the video. So friends you can see the half slice of PVC pipe under the end of all three solar panels. If you see carefully the both ends of the PVC pipe are blocked. This is because we don't want to escape water from its sides. You can also see the holes in the PVC pipe. This is where the water escapes in a controlled way. The water is again transported to the water bucket so it can be recycled. Friends here is another important thing. At this place there must be a filter so the dust in the water cleans when water again reaches in the bucket. This is an amazing system to increase the efficiency of the solar panels. In this system we are not wasting anything but getting a huge increase in power. I have installed a switch under the solar panels for manually turning off the water pump. Because sometime we need to work on solar panels so we need to temporarily switch off the flow of water. So friends I have shown you this whole system. Please tell me in the comment how you feel about this system. Tell me in the comment either this auto water cooling system is worth it or not. In a moment we are heading towards another phase of this video. Now friends I will show a practical demonstration of rainwater harvesting. We need water to achieve the active water cooling process. But we cannot use any type of water. We only need rainwater. The reason why rainwater is necessary is that rainwater has no salt and minerals in it. If we use water including salt and minerals it forms a white layer on the solar panels which totally blocks sunlight to reach to solar cells. And it is also very difficult process to remove that white layer from the solar panels. So we can only use rainwater for this purpose not any other type of water. Friends in this system we do not need to worry that how we get rainwater. This system automatically collects rainwater whenever rain happens. You can see the practical demonstration of how this is happening. Rain falls on the surface of the solar panels and then it is collected by the half PVC pipe. After that tubes. And before collecting it in a bucket it can be filtered and then it is collected in the bucket for later use. From this system a lot of rainwater can be collected. Now friends I will explain the working of the water pump. I will show you graphically how the water pump automatically works. I quickly make the diagram so I can save time and explain to you better about the automatic water pump. Now suppose this is the room and here is our solar charge controller, batteries and inverter. The solar panel active cooling water pump is directly connected to the output load of the solar charge controller. I will use Chine's company MPPT solar charge controller. We can use other charge controllers but I am using this controller because it has many features. It has more options for load control and power monitoring than any other controller. Another reason for using this controller is that this is a MPPT controller at a lot cheap price than the other MPPT controllers. So friends now you can see the full diagram. That is how the solar panel active cooling water pump works automatically.
Now, these are the normal conditions in which we use solar panels daily. You can see the current temperature of the surface of the solar panels. In a few seconds I will take you to the ground floor where these panels are connected to solar charge controller. We will see how much power we are generating out of 360 watts. Three panels that we see earlier are directly connected with this MPPT solar charge controller. We are generating 197 watts out of 360 watts. And we are receiving 14 amps from the three solar panels. The pump can be on manually from this button. Currently I do this for a power boost demonstration. But I have set a specific time for its starting and ending. Every day it automatically starts in the morning before the panels get hot and auto off one hour before sunset. I have three solar panels connected in parallel. Each panel is rated as 120 watts. Total 360 watts. Two panels are polycrystalline and the middle one is monocrystalline. Polycrystalline is close to A grade and monocrystalline is B grade. These three panels are connected with MPPT solar charge controller. I have set two cameras. One for the solar panels and the second for the MPPT charge controller. Friends, you can see. This is how power is boosting from 197 watts to 350 watts. Now if we talk about some more benefits then this technique auto cleans solar panels on daily basis. It is also very good to watch water sliding on the solar panels. This makes solar panels very shiny and beautiful. Water that comes back from the surface of the panel cools down in the large bucket, and then small 8 watt pump throws it back on the top of the solar panels. I have observed another interesting thing is that this place under solar panels is favorite place of birds. Friends here is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I am very much sure you find a new technique through my video on how you boost your solar panels efficiency and power. Friends this is the main focus of my channel. So stay tuned for more upcoming videos. Thank you.